So the world didn't end. This is day 14 of the Bearded Brakes phase. Tonight there was a super moon, lunar eclipse, blood moon. It's like a triple whammy moon thing. I don't know all the science and technicalities behind all of those terms, but it seems like any time that there's something funky going on with the moon, you get people starting to claim that it's the end of the world. It's usually a small group of people that get a lot of press, which is kind of how it always goes. People will talk about it more, it makes a better news story. So the media covers it. With that in mind, me and my friends sat in the cemetery by my house and watched the moon as the impending end of the world came. My roommate Justin captured it through Snapchat, so he's gonna be the special guest for tonight and I'll show you the video. I think this is the real, real blood moon. See it back there? Compared to the app, it doesn't look as cool. Hold on, zooming in again. Yeah, the app is so much cooler. <laughs> but I am in a cemetery, and that's pretty cool. That little dot right there, blood moon, I think was the finishing thing of my sentence. I think we couldn't see it because it was eclipsed. <laughs> the iPhone does not capture the beauty that is a black moon. I mean a blood moon. So there's a Mormon church, just in case we need to find sanctuary. Also, we're at a cemetery, in case we need double sanctuary. <laughs> um, just in case we go. There's the truck, they're bringing resources. This is walking dead people, this is not a drill. I'm okay with the world being over because I already saw The Dark Knight. And that was all I needed to see in Harry Potter 7. I needed to read that book and I did, so the world can end. I think we can all sleep soundly knowing that we've seen the movie The Dark Knight and finishing the seventh Harry Potter book. As always, hope this wasn't horrible.